Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm working more on my RPG Maker project. Um, I believe I am done with the city for now. I went ahead and copied over the um, medium income maps and made them high income. I will try to modify them on my own time, but for now I don't really know how. I mean, I could redo them, I guess. I get wouldn't take me. It would take a while, but I honestly don't really know how I could redo them, honestly. I mean, this one right here, I could just simply, like, do it a long form, but I don't really know if I want to. <clears throat> and as for like the fort, I like, I don't really know how I could change this much. I could maybe add more to it, but I honestly don't know where. Which is upsetting. I thought about it today while I was eating some lunch and getting coffee today. And I just, I could not think of a way to to modify this. Like, at all. So, that will be something I do much later. If at all, who knows. Um, and I got the apartments, you know all copied over as well I need to and I more than likely will change these up some I don't know how yet and if I don't do it I mean honestly is it a big deal I mean not really because after playing Greedfall which I'm still not done with I'm still recording that but after playing Greedfall like they use the same layout for the governor building. And honestly, that's not a bad thing. It makes it easy so that you know the layout of where to go for certain quests. When, when a quest happens in that building. So, it's not such a bad idea to keep the same layout. So that the player knows that layout. But I still might modify it some. Like maybe change the furniture around. Change the carpeting or something. I don't know yet. We'll see. That's down the road, obviously. And I am working on a new map. There's not much done yet. I did not show it off in the short I made earlier today because I didn't want to spoil it then but this is it it is a maximum size of 256 by 256 as usual it is the continuation of the village and forest it is where all the water f comes from for the the lake or the small lake in the forest map and it is a part of the <coughs> map that you bypass which I actually might add a way to get up to the top up here and then add a traversal or a transfer to this map up here for the player to go on top of the ledge and that's as far as I'll let them go to where the village forest connects to this map and then they'll have to come back down to the village forest map from this one for like secret items or whatever I don't know yet we'll see though but I don't have much done yet as you can tell just, you know, the water. And I free, I, I drew the lake with the pen tool. 
and I filled it in with Uncle Phil. So, Uncle Phil works wonders. And this was the design I made. Kind of has a face with the giant hat, but you know what? It's okay. Like, you can kind of see the face there, and then there's, you know, all that stuff, and then there's the hat. But I free drew this. It's not my best work, but you know what? Does it matter? No, does not matter at all. It does not matter whatsoever. And I might change the design in the future. Who knows? I have not decided yet. But who knows? But anyways, this is what I've been up to today. Not a lot, honestly, because my eyeball was hurting me like a son of a monkey's butt. Oh, it was it was painful, freaking headache, eye eye pain. It was bad. I don't know if it was a migraine or what, but I've been having off and on. I'll get eye pain in my eyes, and I had no leave on hand to take, and so I had to deal with it for about an hour and a half. And it finally quit. It was horrible. And it hindered me on what I was trying to do. And, um, yeah. It was no fun. But. I did, um, actually, I... I've not mentioned this yet. One of my, um, wow, nice voice crack there. Holy crap. One of my, um, support staff, I'm not going to say their name out of respect for them, but one of them used to work in the prison system as a guard or other means. I'm not going to say their exact role, again, out of respect. And I did ask their opinion on one of my maps that I made to see what they thought, you know, to see if in their opinion, since they worked in the prison system, if it was secure and they said no prison is truly secure. That makes sense. It truly does. That opened my eyes so much hearing that. It truly did. I mean, it makes sense because every now and then you hear about prisoners escaping. It's rare, but it happens. But, he, but this person gave me some ideas that I could do for the fort. Which I, I mean, I actually could convert this one into like a full-on prison. And not just a fort, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Honestly. And, he, and this person also said that um, the multiple inspection zones are... Something that happens in a real prison. So that is a good thing. And I, I honestly did not know that at all myself. He said that they have multiple cameras in prisons. I unfortunately cannot do that because of the setting that I'm going for. But that also makes sense. Because, you know, got to keep an eye on all the, you know, people in prison. Makes sense there. Um... He, this person gave me a bunch of information, and if I can utilize it, I will. And I, honestly, I might redo the high-end comfort into an actual, like, prison system type thing. To where, like, I may not make it, ma like, maximum size... Because that would be, like, honestly just stupid. Because I don't really need it max size, as you can tell. Like, everything I have here is, you know. But, but again, I might do that. I don't know. I 
I could do that, actually, and I might do that. Because it would make sense if I did it. I just noticed something. Why do I have beds over there for? What the hell? I forgot. It's been a while since I worked on this. But why are... Oh, is this the... Oh, that was the doctor's over there. And I added over... I mean, that kind of makes sense. Having two separate... Yeah, one for the guards and then one for the actual prisoners. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I guess. I, I, I don't know. I forgot what this was for. <laughs> it's been a while. But yeah, I might actually redo this one into like an actual prison. Versus a fort. Because you need... A prison. And the city technically does not have a prison. And I might take that person's information and work with it as best I can. But if I do that, I will do it on my own time. Actually, you know what? That is a great idea. I'm going to go ahead and Add it to the list of things to do. Not M come, N come. save it properly save it I can then do this also the church I believe is done I I added pillars to it which is my first time ever using pillars ever I've never actually used them in any other manner of using RPG maker of any iteration of it whatsoever and I don't know, like, there might be too much of them. There might not be enough of them. I honestly don't know. <clears throat> like, in my opinion, they don't look right. Another voice crack, nice. In my opinion, they don't look right because you cannot see, um... The ceiling of the building. That's my only complaint. If you could actually see the ceiling of the building you're working in. It would be much better. But you cannot do that in this program. But. Given that the rooms are. Um, you know. Quite expansive. I decided to add. A, a, a different form of structural integrity to the building because it makes sense and there's I mean there are other pillars I could add to the uh, to my other buildings in the game which I might do that in the future but I wanted to see how this looked first and um, I don't know I might get rid of them because I don't really think they fit because you cannot see what they're attached to other than the floor, which sucks. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, The city itself, it has been done for quite a while. NPCs will be added at a later time. Or if you guys want to start seeing the process for the eventing, I don't mind doing that. Because I have only shown it off for one map. So if you guys are here to learn about the program 
and you want to see how the event processing works, let me know down below if you want to see more of it in a future video, and I will begin doing that. I will start by making my first common event, which is going to be fairly simple to do. Well, actually, I, you know what? I could do that now versus mapping. Yeah, I might do that now. Yeah. This map has been done for a while. The rest of it is done for now, except for the new one. So, let's make our first common event. So we need, and this one will be, it won't be finished until, basically until the game is done. And I mean completely done. And there's a reason for this. My elbow is bugging me again. There's something around it like sleep or something or a piece of dirt or something I'm trying to get away. So give me a moment. It's not hurting me again like it was earlier today. But I don't want anything to get in it again in case it does. Because if it does, I will have to abruptly cut the video and basically just pop to a leave for the fourth, for the fourth day in a row. Ugh. I hate it so much. <clears throat> Alright, so I need to make a common event. I'm trying to remember how I do this. Um, common event that I can call with... Okay, the problem with doing this is this will be the only item that enemies drop. Now you're thinking, okay, why? Because random RNG, think of it as gambling, but you're not paying money for it. So therefore, it's not gambling, because you're not paying money for it. I'm not a douchebag to make you pay real money to unlock a treasure chest to have a 1 in 17 chance to get the item you want or 1 in 1,000 chance to get a rare item or how high does it go again? I forgot. I have my eyes watering now, son of a bitch. Why? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a douchebag to make you pay 10 bucks to make you roll a treasure chest to have a 1 in 9,999 chance to get a potion <laughs> or a revive. So instead of, you know, doing that, let's make it just 20 for now because it'll expand over time. So I need to make an item for the item that will drop the items at random. This is going to be fun. So, think of it if you've ever played um, Dragon's Dogma 1 or 2, which technically, in my opinion, they're both Dragon Do Dragon's Dogma 1, because technically number 2 is a remake. Prove me wrong. Because it takes place on a different world. So technically, number two is also the first game. They just remade the first game. That's all they did. Prove me wrong. But, so, think of the treasure chest in both Dragon Dragonma and Dragon's Dogma Remake. You can loot them. And the loot is random. They reset. Every time they reset, the loot is randomized. That's what I'm going for. However, you get them from enemies. 
they do not open on their own. That's the bad side to it. You have to unfortunately go into your inventory and open them that way. I have not found a different way to do it. It is unfortunate. It is tedious. But you know what? It slows down speedrunners. And that's what I want. Because fuck speedrunners. They're going to hate my game. And that's okay. So we need to make a treasure chest. Um, I said name with a catchy name, huh? First I need an icon for it because yes. Oh look, I'm using the proper assets and not the, not the disgusting MZ assets that are not freaking colored in. Sweet. Because devs are lazy. Um, I want multiple tiers as well. Or do I? No, screw it. I don't care. So there's our treasure chest. Now we need a catchy name for it. Would this site provide one? Uses cookies. I could care less about cookies, honestly. Um, other names. Would this provide a catchy name for a treasure chest? Motorcycle clubs? No, it is not. Um, fantasy and folklore names. This is how I get my names, by the way, because I cannot think of names. <laughs> I cannot think of names at all. And if you do not like that, don't watch my content. I don't care. It is my game. I can do whatever the hell I want. Technically, it is AI, but what I do is I take two names from a list of five, and then I combine those together. So in a way, it is using AI in a way, but I'm not good at thinking of names. So if you don't like it, don't watch my content. I don't give a crap. Real names, no. Other generators, do you? Seriously, no. Seriously. So this is how they think of new elements. Okay. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> well, I found out how um, scientists think of new uh, elements. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Hold on. Did I find a way to cheat myself? My what? Okay, never mind. I didn't. Wait a minute. Did I find my world map generator? No. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is this, dude? I'm intrigued by this. What the hell is this? Did I find my world map generator? Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> what is this? Oh, no, that's 10 by 10. I think it's already 10 by 10. Um, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so 35 by 35, okay. What <laughs> is... Holy cheese balls. <laughs> the little piece down there, that's funny. <laughs> Holy... Where's generate map? I can't see it now because I, I went too far. Holy crap, dude. I don't see generate map. Oh, it's right there. It's behind the. F <laughs> that looks like crap. That ain't gonna work. I'm sorry. Um. 
<laughs> uh, it's still doing that. So yeah, 35 and 35 does not work. So it's just doing that over and over again. What about like 25 or 25? Would that work, I wonder? This is ingenious. I like it. I found something new. It's still doing that, though. Yeah, I know. It's still doing this. Yeah. So we can't do our polar map because of that. Um, we've got 20 by 20. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. <coughs> it's still doing that, though. Yeah, it's still doing that. Oh, well. I wanted to do this. If it did, like, full color ones, that would be grand, dude. Oh, I gotta put a cut now.